Okay, thanks everyone for being patient. <clears throat> so I'm starting off Simpsons in the dip switch here, just to show off the fact that I'll be playing on the hardest difficulty. I have it listed as expert on the category. Expert's what they call it on the digital download port that was released for the PS3 and Xbox 360 back in 2011, I think it was. But it, they're, they're the same difficulty. Expert and very difficult are exactly the same. So first of all, um, I know I saw both names scrolling up through the to the viewers here a little bit ago. Uh, first of all, big big ups to Zerst. Our, uh, our race last year of this game on default difficulty was excellent, and similar big props to Butters BB, who <laughs> did commentary for our race, and I felt like I gave him absolutely nothing to work with, and he still managed to get his way through commentating that race, and that race was nuts. I think we, I think Zerst beat me by like nine seconds or something. Like, it was super duper close. This year, I'll get to talk a little bit more about what we're going to see in this game. we go in a little bit more about the strats, but I decided to up the ante and not run it on the default difficulty and go into Expert as well. Expert is... Honestly, I think Expert's kind of... I'm not going to say it's arbitrary, because it definitely is harder, but it's not harder in the ways that I feel like an arcade game should be more difficult. It just... All it means is there's more enemies. Really nothing else besides it. All the boss strats are exactly the same as you'd see on default. You just have more enemies to deal with and therefore a lot more trolling nonsense. Another thing I want to show out about this game, I picked my character, I'm going to go with the total meme here. And while I think Marge and Bard are the best characters in this game, the only character I've been able to no miss this game on Expert with is... Homer! Right here. So we're going to play Homer. It's a complete superstition thing. I think Homer might be the worst character in the game, but... I... I can't explain why I've only been able to no-miss with him. I've once he's seated on this difficulty with all four characters, but I haven't no-missed it with anybody else. Let's go for it. The Lord of Demons here, you're going to see me use the jump special a lot. It's very powerful. Kills basic enemies in one hit. Looks really funny, too. Homer doing a bicycle kick. Got this. You see a lot of excessive item use in this game. Like this. Bowling. I don't even know if I killed that guy. There's going to be so many enemies that uh, spawn here. And also, since it was pointed out, this is the JP version. Excessively different from the US version. The JP version, you have a lot more items that you're able to obtain. And you can also gain temporary health. Like, you can actually go over your max health in this, this version. Uh, it's not good. Iron Man can actually be a problem. Those steam blasts are gross. Guy. Here's our first sub weapon. Here we have a broom, which we see in later stages in the US, but it doesn't exist in that degree in the US. The boss is pretty easy, but he can be a bit of an RNG nightmare. For a three cycle here, that's rude. There's nothing you can do about that either. The jump, like, it's completely RNG, and he's invincible during it as well. We got him there. Full. One of my favorite quotes in the game. Homer's good for that in this game. The the flavor in this game is at its best when you're playing as him. Quick little bonus stage, just mashing. Nothing special about it. I think the best times I've ever had are like mid threes. But a high two is still okay. Moving on to our second stage, which similar to how Turtles was, is like the first stage but longer. The trustees are pretty easy enemies. They the only way they can attack you is to bounce on you. They're not that threatening. No we knew that Homer was a tough toughman competitor, so you can let those mailboxes. A quick item attack, Sans will help her as best boy. There we go. Grab this health for safety. Something else I should bring up, um, one thing I think that can separate characters in terms of how good they are is pickup speed. The only reason I, I think Bard is a great character, for example, but um, I don't enjoy playing him as much because he has the slowest pickup speed in the game, which reduces his speed in that regard, though he does have some fast pickups in other regards. Get out of here. Now we have the hammer. Similar to what we were doing with the broom, we have this dive attack that does not exist in the US version 
extremely powerful. We also have the short hop version, it's also very good. The dive has some interesting kinks to it, I guess you call it. Well, okay, <laughs> sure thing, video game. And then it's really fast, and it does kill these enemies in one hit, similar to how our special attack works, but it does have problems in that it has a really jank hitbox. Whereas if you do the short hop version, that one actually has a much more consistent hitbox. It's just worse for the speed run. Better for the 1cc. The other problem I have with it is that to do the short hop, you have to plank jump into attack, which means you just kind of tilt it if you're a Tekken player. The reason that's bad is because if you don't buffer it properly and you space them too close together, you'll get a special input, and what that does in this game is it throws away the weapon, and that's really bad damage. <laughs> Undo what I feel is our easiest boss, the Krusty Balloon. Unless he does that, that's pretty bad RNG. That's only bad for speed. You can avoid it pretty easily for CC attacks and whatnot. Still annoying. He hits later, throw the weapon. That scream is iconic, by the way. Another reason I enjoy playing Homer. Okay, so for Expert, I firmly believe this may be the hardest stage in the game. If it's not this, it's definitely stage 5, but this stage is... this stage is super gross. Couple of issues. We don't have a special weapon at any point in, this, in the run. Or in the stage, I should say, sorry. So we're pretty much just left to our own devices to just keep doing this and make sure we don't get hit. There's also very few healing items in this first room, and it's a long first room. One of them is also hidden. I think I only found it like about a month ago. Actually, I don't have to interact with that guy. These next two ghosts that we're going to see, if we don't hit them, they won't spawn. So I'm just going to ignore them as best I can. Try and stay out of their hitbox range. Otherwise, just spawn more enemies and want that. This guy, this guy. The bicycle kicking like a Luke Cage here. Nice hit here on that guy. It's a tricky one to time. Before, and I normally don't even get that guy, so that was cool. Slide is also incredibly degenerate. You'll see that a lot from the dude dude green. It's a pretty awful move to have to put up with. First healing item we see is right here below the tree. I'm going for it right now. That was rude. Time him out. Grab the skull, hit the zombie. Zombies are interesting. They have some very odd properties. They have a melee attack that's actually really gross. It's this little claw swipe that they do. They're actually invincible during the animation, so having to fight it is definitely not fun. You hit him. Slingshot we only get temporary use of. It's not infinite, but I want to make sure I can make my shots count on these zombies with the one shot them. Very few attacks will one shot them, otherwise. Second healing item here had exactly enough shot to pull it off. That was the hidden one I found. Uh, there was a, an online expert run I was doing a few weeks back where I just did special there by mistake and the hamburger popped up. I was like, oh, cool. I'll use that forever. This is, in fact, the Japanese ROM set. It says on the left, Jack Jack Smith, uh, Simpsons JP. Okay, so similar to what we had in the skateboard stage in TMNT, this elevator, because, you know, it's a Konami beat him up, we have to have an elevator, is a total time scam. We can just avoid these guys all we want. So we get to the bottom of the elevator and then kill them and we'll spawn more enemies. So if I kill one of these guys right now, another enemy would spawn in its place. So we've got to treat it like Hydra. Sometimes two spawn in their place. I don't think more than four enemies can fit on the screen at a time, but I don't see any reason to have more than three. I also just love his dive kick animation and love showing it off. It just looks so goofy, but awesome at the same time. Okay, I got a setup out of it. Alright, so this... Strat goes 100% to Zerus. He was the person that showed this to me. Really cool quick kill you can do on these bosses here. Hope I can get it. Don't know if this exists in the US version, but I'll test it one day, I'm sure. Get it. Oh, I have it. I have my second chance. You guys troll me a little bit. The smaller guy's the issue there, so I didn't get it on first try, but I still got it. Okay, so, the tavern. The tavern has some grossness to it. Mostly just because it's similar to how the streets are in TMNT. There's just a lot of space for enemies to work with. Gonna grab this cherry bomb. Oh, okay, that's new. Saw it immediately. 
This hammer was actually discovered at some point last year. It was after the first 15 was obtained. Because I have a 15 in this game and it doesn't have the hammer because I didn't know about it at the time. I haven't tried to improve on it yet just because it runs so good. Hammer actually makes the first part of the stage a lot more tolerable. What's up, Liz? Try to hit this attack guy. Cool, that works. <laughs> really not a whole lot to talk about here, it's just more enemies. I'm gonna throw that one just so I can have the room. I'd rather have room through here. I think it's a smidge bit more efficient, and I'm a little bit more confident with it against the boss. There really isn't a huge difference. Just call it personal preference. Kill this guy. Now normal we'd have about half as many enemies that we need. Also swag dance. The man. And I ran this co-op for Feed the Kids last month. It was great. Got world record, lost it within six days. <laughs> that was fun. So this guy, this guy. It's also maybe my favorite music track in the game. It's just so loud worthy. <laughs> uh, okay. Couldn't despawn those guys, I guess, because I do that. This boss is pretty free as long as you're able to set up this loop. Dear little short hops. Only takes 10 hits this. And he. And as long as you time it right, he can't fight his way out of this. It's pure stun lock. Pretty great. The only thing that's random about it is which direction he moves in when he gets knocked down. Wow. Homer clearly enthused by the activities of trying to rescue his baby daughter. Okay. Now, for my opinion, the actual hardest stage, for this stage is the butt for a reason. Springfield feud, but it's definitely a butt. This stage is gross. Uh, lots of enemy variety. Lots more space for them to work with, especially compared to the tavern. The music is awesome. One of my favorites. I don't want to have to deal with that. Oof. Backstepping is real. You also don't have a sub weapon to work with until you get to the very end. Apes are a little bit tough to contend with. If, you, if I can hit them as soon as they spawn, we're, we're set. I'm gonna ignore the tree. There is a food item in that tree, but it involves having to spawn that hive. I don't want that. Hive's kind of a problem. Uh, okay, what do you say, guy? I'm gonna try. Oh, that was not good. But at least it didn't take any damage from it. Come on, guy. Okay. That was kind of terrifying, actually. Hmm. Wanted to kill one ape, killed no apes. There's also a food item here I'm gonna try and get. Got the cord. Very good. Need that slingshot too. We are gonna run out of slingshot ammo at some point. There's a lot of enemies here. Pretty much just play a tower defense at this point. Kill these guys. Because I wanna scroll the screen. Get what use I can out of the slingshot here. Okay, it's all gone. I think it was Makina that discovered that broom there. It's pretty good. Especially for the boss we have to fight. This boss actually used to be one of the most problematic in the game until that broom was discovered. And now it's just kind of a joke. Two hits knocked down. The only thing not a joke about it is the RNG of these boulders. Where they fall is completely random. That was time. I have to wait for the roll. Alright, had to play for safety there a little bit. Got so much roll by the rocks, but that was definitely my fault. I swung too early because I just didn't get myself. Alright, very good fact. Not perfect, but I'll take it. I didn't die. Because I wasn't a bear all along. What's interesting is that's the, the bear that was supposed to escape from the zoo cage. Stage 2, but it turned out to just be a dude. As far as I know, Sonic Custer, most of the um, most of the hidden items don't exist in the U.S. version. I haven't tried them too much. Bear extraordinaire. 
when these guys spawn for them all. I have gotten all four of those guys at once, but it's, it's not easy. I tend to just try to get the first three and hope for the best in the last one. Uh, okay. Maybe the next up, but okay, that was awful. So this stage kind of sucks. Majority because every enemy in Dreamland is unique to this stage. So it's a real problem if you haven't really practiced this one. This last one's always a huge troll. Like, he loves to just despawn from the screen. Make sure you get combo to death by Silly Snake. Be the items to be able to use. I'm just gonna use these at my leisure, because why wouldn't I? This guy should just die in one hit. These, uh, these power plant workers are really strange in that. They have, while they do have fixed health, they don't all have the same health. Some die in two special attacks or item throws. Some die in just one. It's kind of up to you to know which ones are which. That's gonna be a problem. Okay, so this part used to be pretty difficult, and Zer then Zerse found this dude, and now it's trivial. You can't kill all of them on expert, you can only kill all but one. I, I shouldn't even say kill, because it doesn't kill any of them, it just reduces them to 1 HP. But still very good. So for our boss, I'm going to go ahead and steal his bowling ball out of the mailbox. First cycle, I'm just going to bicycle kick him a bunch. I just hope I time this right. I just, uh, maybe I did? I don't think I did, but I shouldn't have too many issues regardless. But, okay, I didn't get it, but that's fine. Still didn't get hit. The second phase of this fight is really scary, where he hops around. There's just so much randomness to it. The third phase isn't really that big of a deal. Just make sure you don't get hit by a missile, and you'll be okay. Then the fourth phase, he's just going to do the extendo arm, which is also really easy, because he's going to stay right on him and do specials. He's just not going to be able to deal with the damage output, and then you're set. Bash buttons, because I want to. That's a rough beat. <clears throat> now we get our big cutscene where we wake up. So I don't know how you get from the woods to our next stage, but hey, I guess it's one of those things where, like, the less you Go. think about it, the more it makes sense. Play Homer up with another bonus game. For a serious flavor misfire, for, for stage 7, here we have channel 6. Something of a mistake there, I think. Channel 6 isn't necessarily the easiest stage in the game, it does have some issues. But it also has quite a bit of upside, particularly the fact that you get to start the stage with a weapon. So that makes enemies a lot easier to have to deal with. Ideally, I'd like to be able to get through all this without taking any damage. And I'll be honest, I don't really know how this stage is going to go in general, because the last practice run I did of this game, I lost on this stage because I had a horrible boss fight, which can be a bit finicky. It's not hard if you can maintain your combo, but I dropped the combo and I lost. It was bad. You're seeing a lot of dives, of course. Really good against these guys. Take as much health as I can from the barrels. <laughs> Okay, sometimes you get the food from all three. It's not common, but it has happened. That was just a bad trade. These guys have jump kicks that have ridiculous priority. I hate them when they have to do that. You can beat them out before they do it, but sometimes you don't. Robots are pretty easy when you loop them. You go right and left and right and left and right and left and set. Just because hammer is disgusting. In the US version, you don't get to do that because there, you don't have the advantage of getting to use hammer. And that sucks. Uh, I'm not gonna bother getting brute this time. I think I'm just gonna stick with hammer. Normally, what I do for speed is I'll throw the hammer to kill an enemy from the left, and then grab the brute with my second sub weapon. Here, I'd rather just stay consistent. I'm doing fairly okay on these enemies right now, I think. Alright, so the group of these totally not foot soldiers. These guys are definitely annoying. They have really good attacks, especially this backflip that actually has a hitbox attached to it. Imagine if Vega and Street Fighter 2 had a backflip with a hitbox. Dude. 
is basically what you get here. It's evasive, it dodges all your nonsense, and it can kick you. Okay, we're getting into third health card territory here, it feels good. Okay, so for speed, what I normally do here is just go ahead and stun the boss, which I can do, but I'd rather just take care of these guys before this guy shows up. I want the least amount of trolling possible. Here we have the Shogun. This guy can be awful. If he gets out of this loop, we're going to have problems. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it real quick to make sure I don't lose that. Since it's also a bit of a troll. That's not good. Should be okay though. A little early on that hit. Okay, cool. Got hit once, both in that. Very good. Well, we're not impressed with this guy's nonsense. This isn't the power plant, it's channel 6. Maggie! Uh, power plant's where we're headed right now. Okay, so... Last stage, it's just a boss rush. And by rush, I mean it's only two bosses, it's just Smithers and Burns. The scary thing that's gonna happen here is Burns can absolutely take credits away. That fight can Welcome lead to a to lot of field bats. For Smithers, ideally you want to be able to catch him in these special loops. The first five hits are pretty free, but then I want to make him whiff punish. Or make him whiff so I can punish him, sorry. Right there. That. That's unfortunate. Sometimes he does instant cape and there's really not much he can do. I can finish him here. A little early there. Not a big deal. Okay, cool. Alright, didn't get the last healing item, which is unfortunate. Oh, actually I did. Cool. Okay, so Smither's not too bad when you know how his iframes work. But with Burns, similar to what you saw from me last year, trying to go for a pseudo infinite. I'm gonna try and get him to the wall. Get as many quick hits as I can. Special does do more damage, but I'd rather have the net. Okay, so my goal from here is to get him to the bookcase and never let him out. Omar has a pretty easy time with the infinite here. I think only he and March have the consistent infinite. Bart's is finicky. In my experience, I have gotten it, but the timing's a little different. Same with Lisa. Lisa was actually the hardest before. The timing between her attacks is so awkward. All I'm hoping for here is just pure stuff. Up, so let's see if we can. I have to do backup strats. We'll talk backup strats. Ooh, we got him in the the back back and forth pistol stuff lock. This is beautiful. I just need to not get hit. Oh god, I got hit. Can I get back in? Once again. His taunting is forever his own undoing. But yeah, that's a, that's a no miss. I'm punch him down and time. 21's not too bad. Uh, just got a 20 in this game for the first time ever last month, and that's still my PB. Yeah, not a bad run at all. <laughs> that Maggie was pretty well timed, actually. Also, notice how Mr. Burns is, like, somehow, like, nine feet tall. He dwarfs Homer in this game, and Homer's, like, already, I think, in Simpsons measurements, he's, like, six feet tall. Burns just towers over him. The weird thing they did with that. Ugh, man, I really didn't want to lose that on any of the, uh, the previous stages. The first six stages I've gotten down pretty well. The graveyard and the butte are problematic at times, but I don't know. Something about playing with Homer invokes me to want to play with more safety, I guess it is, and I've just had more consistency. And he's still the only character I've once seen it with on the hardest difficulty. Grateful for all the GGs, everybody. Thank you. That was a good run. Unlike uh, unlike TMNT, I will at least comment on this. This game doesn't have a rank to it, so you can just you can essentially just make sure you're not dying to invoke speed, and that's always going to get you through it the fastest. Uh, 
Yeah, for anyone that wants to mess with this game, I think it's actually the easiest Konami beat em up as long as you're playing this version. So I highly encourage messing with it at one point, if it's to your fancy. Why not classic? Alright everyone, bear with me and we'll get set up for our next game. Thanks a lot for hanging out and see you shortly.